I think my main reason for going to Japan was um, my father passed away in 2013 and my dad, uh, he was the coach for me and my brother, so we talk right between you for seven. Um, and he was also my kicking coach as well, so that's why he was a big part of my rugby life and my brother as well. So my dad passing away was a bit of a rough patch for me. And then I got an offer from Japan from a mental point of view, psychological point of view. From a rugby point of view, I think it was a good move for me to actually spend uh, two seasons in Japan. And yeah, after the first two years, and I decided to sign another two more years, and yeah, things went well. Everybody said it's going to be difficult for me moving to Japan, something new, me alone there. But it, it just made me a better person and becoming more independently. And then obviously, it built my leadership abilities as well. It's going to be interesting because I've seen the way they treat uh, Christmas and New Year's. They make a big thing about it, even two or three months before, before the actually Christmas time. The people are seeing more rugby, they're talking more rugby. They're really looking forward to it. And um, with their facilities and their work ethic around, um, not just rugby, but I mean, from the country, that will make it a big thing. And yeah, I think from the culture point of view, they're really excited. It's something different, something new for them. Carlos Spencer, Johnny Wilkinson, Stephen Larkham. For me, watching the clips and watching YouTube and studying their type of games, it gave me a broader picture of how I see myself, of how I want to be, what type of life I want to be, because Carlos was uh, ambitious and flashy and he had all the tricks in the book. Um, he always, space awareness was just phenomenal. And then I worked with him I played under him first um, as a back of life, and then obviously he was my coach as well, so Carlos was the number one at the moment. And then Johnny Wilkinson, um, obviously that's a pretty special moment of 2003 when he kicked that drop goal, that mental pressure he actually went through with that old World Cup. And his, his also his work ethic, I think that's a big part what well, I respect Johnny Wilkinson a lot. And then Stephen Larkham, uh, yeah, he was his speed and also, his space awareness and his attacking game was also phenomenal. So yeah, I've got a, I don't have one guy, I've got a few that I'll take a bits and pieces and then hopefully when I retire, I can be the complete 10. We had to build something new from last year. Um, it wasn't the best of years for Springbok Rugby, but we wanted to create our own culture. Um, we wanted to create our own brand of rugby. And I think when when you start with that process, you will always go through certain things. I've been in the system for quite a while, and what I've seen, what happened with my union at the Lions, um, so I believe that that first year is only a build of character, and it's good for the players because we actually have a younger group this time around, and we as players took responsibility this year that we actually want to play for each other, and we want to make South Africa proud as well, and our families as well. So this year is a way, uh, it's two or three steps um, up from last year, but we just want to keep on building on this whole team culture and hopefully uh, the World Cup.